briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a riveting 1971 legal clash, the United States Court of Customs and Patent Appeals was tasked with deciphering the obscurities of patent language in a case that came to be known as In Re Swinehart. At the heart of the matter was the creation of a new compound, an innovative mixture of barium fluoride and calcium fluoride, crafted in eutectic proportions. The claim met resistance at the Patent Office Board of Appeals, which deemed the idea insufficiently outlined and devoid of necessary detail. To put it plainly, they argued that the claim was too vague and left room for interpretation that could compromise the essence of the invention. Adding to the brew of contention, they noted that the product's varying degrees of transparency were not meticulously elucidated within the patent claim. The board also held that the use of functional language was improper in defining the precise nature of the composition and needed more than a single-phase description to meet patent standards. However, the tides of judgment shifted when the case arrived at the United States Court of Customs and Patent Appeals. The court methodically parsed the claim and the key language transparent to infrared rays, which they found to be clear when studied in relation to the specification. In a noteworthy turn, the court ruled that the innovation was primarily transparent to infrared rays and could demonstrate diverse degrees of transparency, with none posing restrictions to the claim's validity. The court, therefore, rebutted the board's initial interpretation, reverting its decision, and thereby breathing life back into the claim for this novel concoction. The contentious language that was once the claim's Achilles' heel ultimately became its saving grace in court, underscoring the importance of precision in patent language. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.